I, I think um, religion's greatest trick wasn't convincing some people that there was a God who was all powerful. Um, it was convincing everyone else that you couldn't ridicule the idea. It's when you get them. I think they'd be more atheists and less faithful if you weren't allowed to teach anything, you weren't allowed to mention any gods or any beliefs or atheism, right, until they were 20. I think we see a different pattern. The human brain, when it's, when it's young, is a sponge. It has to be. It has to take in all the information. It has to trust its parents, its elders, to survive. Uh, without question, don't touch the fire. Why not? Don't go near the club. Don't go near the wolf. Don't touch that spider with a red belt. Don't touch that. Why not? Just don't. There is a God. What? There is a God. And if you're bad, you go to hell. Okay? And if that's constantly confirmed, like all the other things, wolves eat you, black widows kill you, fires burn you, if it's given that same level of credence and truth, you're never going to get over it. It's going to be a lot harder to undo that. I think the myths came up, maybe, you know, often as a stopgap to, to knowledge until we find out more. You know, the Earth is flat, and now we've proved now, okay, the Earth's not flat, we were wrong, okay? But that's not personal. You don't take that personally. It doesn't affect you. It doesn't affect your afterlife, you know? And so they often want to hold on to, to that, right? But only because of the way they've been conditioned. We know it's, it's fun to tell children there's a Santa Claus and there's, there's fairies at the bottom of the garden and all these cute things. It's cute till they're seven or eight. If they're th 34, it's a bit embarrassing socially. If you're born in India, you're probably a Hindu. If you're born in America, you're probably a Christian. If you're born in Pakistan, you're probably a Muslim. That's a coincidence, isn't it? That you're always born into the right God. Always, isn't that lucky? I was born into the right God. All those others are going to hell. But I was born into the right religion. I'm going to heaven. It's strange that we, we hold on to these sort of medieval beliefs. I think it's very important you challenge your own beliefs. I mean, I mean that's, what, that's what science does, really. It doesn't constantly try and prove itself right. It follows the evidence, whatever that is. In fact, it tries to prove itself wrong. It doesn't sulk. When science thinks something and then it discovers it was wrong, it doesn't sulk because it found that out too. This is it's the question I often get, that people say, well, you're an atheist, you know, you're closed-minded. Well, no, I'm not. You know, that, that's a strange thing to say. I think the opposite is true. I'm going to always follow the evidence, whatever that is. And they say things like, if someone proved to you God existed, would you believe? Well, of course I would, by definition. In fact, it would be the greatest scientific discovery of all time. Scientists would celebrate. They'd run round. At the moment, we have no evidence for the existence of any god or anything supernatural. Never have. Possibly never will. But who knows? I get asked questions like, you know, well, what do you think it feels like when you're dead? And I always say, well, what did it feel like for the billions of years before you were born? Like that. And there's also this strange thing that I get from um, faithful people. Um, why don't you believe in God? Well, that's a very strange question. Why don't you believe in God? Well, you came up with it. Why, why would I? As to saying I don't know, well, if you're agnostic about God in all his glory, and in all his impossibility, you've got to be the same about Santa. You have got to say, I don't know. What's up with that? <laughs> well, if you are, if you're a believer in God, if yeah. you're a, a Christian, as yeah. many tens of millions in America are, you, you could see you as poking fun at their religion. Not at all. Loads of, how many people thank God every, every time? They say, thank God. I don't, I, don't, I don't get offended. Do I? But you must be aware that a lot of people in America would potentially find that offensive. What, because I'm saying I don't believe in God? Yeah, because you're kind of mocking them, you know. No, I'm not. I'm not mocking them. 
Uh, people's, people's beliefs aren't, aren't my concern at all. Um, I certainly don't um, differentiate between religions either. I look at all religions the same. Unlike religious people, I look at all religions equally. You were religious till you were about eight years old, is that right? Yeah, I was brought up a Christian. Yeah. And what, what happened to change your mind then? Um, I used to go to uh, Sunday school all the time. I believed in... We've got to realise that when you're a working class kid, I came from a very um, poor working class background. My dad was a labourer, my mum was a housewife. I lived in a, a poor estate, um, like the project. Mm. Right? And um, to a working class mum, who, uh, her hope isn't that, that you become a doctor or a lawyer or a, an international comedian. It's that you don't die in a barroom fight. Mm. And they think the best way to do that is to take on Christian values, which, which, you know, which preach immorality. And, um, um, but they haven't got the monopoly on, on good. This is my point. I'm not a Christian, but I live my life in a good way. And some people say, well, who says what's good is? Well, do you know what I do? I'm good to people because it's the way I want to be treated. Um, and I don't believe I'll be rewarded um, in heaven, but I do believe do you think I'll, will happen to you? I'll be rewarded now. But when you die, what do you think happens? Um, um, people who liked me or remember me. I, I, Are you I, a spiritual person, do you think? Well, not in that sense. But I, 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 get a, I get a funny feeling when I see a friend or, or a mountain or an animal. It, it fills me with joy. I, I, my first love is science and nature. But it's explainable. And just because um, I don't think um, that... Uh, I'm going to go to heaven. I don't think my life's worth this. I don't think... It's already that. I was thinking with atheists, because I, I do believe, and I'm, I was brought right. up a Catholic and remain so. Sure. But, you know, I, I think everyone's entitled to their own beliefs. Absolutely. Though, whatever they may be. The problem for atheists, it must be so so doom, doom and gloom when you get to, like, well, 70, 80 to think, yeah. well, hang on, that's it. Oh, oh that's, that's the end of everything. That's right, yeah. So you must fear death ten times more than... Christians, don't Why? You? I don't believe there's anything else. Because it's the end. But, but you're saying you believe because the alternative is too terrible. I That's want... not why I believe, but certainly it's a very comforting thought to think that I don't think it all ends in the box under the ground. But I can't help what I believe any more than you can. And uh, it, it's up to you what you believe in. You know, and this thing about um, not believing in God, there are, there are 2,780 odd gods. And so if you're a Christian... You believe in one of them, and you don't believe in all the others. For you, because anyone who follows you on Twitter, and you have a huge following, they'll know that you are a pathological atheist, mm. and therefore the thought of death is very final for you. For me, yeah. as a good Irish Catholic boy, it's the start of something new and glorious. For you, that's it. And for me, it's the end of something glorious, so I have to pack it all in. But... You know, I, I, I'm, I'm not depressed about it. I, I don't want to die any more than anyone else. And I think there's this strange myth that atheists have nothing to live for. It's the opposite. We have nothing to die for. You have we more have, to live for. We because... have everything to live for. Yes. Yeah. I would imagine you have a more focused attention to life because you think it ends when you die. I think it's precious. I think it's beautiful. I think the world is amazing. I love people, animals, art, every hobby. I can't... I can't believe my luck that I'm alive for these 70 or 80 years. What, or in, what, what? might be less. <laughs> like, you know, I, I'm not long for this world. <laughs> my nan used to say that. She lived till 83. I think it was 40 years we were going, I'm not long for this world. <laughs> <laughs> what are the, you said the things you like. What are the, the, the things that really annoy you? Um, only two things really, really make my blood boil, I suppose. I suppose in general, as I get older, injustice. Injustice quietly makes my blood boil. Either, either personal, social, political, um, you know, uh, personal. Um, I suppose the two, two main categories are our religious intolerance, this, this arrogance that, that you think, you know, arguing over whose God is right sort of gets me down a little bit, you know, and I've got, I've got no problem with spirituality. I really haven't, uh, you know, that's another myth. And I always try and make the difference clear between spirituality and religion. Mm -hmm. One is a very personal feeling, a journey, a hope, or, or whatever, a, a need, you know, a, a joy. And the other is an organized body that uses that for power and, and corruption in, in, in many cases, in many cases. Um, and, I, 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 you know, I, I don't have either, but um, I, I, 
I, I, I suppose I, I think that um, um, when it affects me, that's when I have a say in it. And religion affects me. Religion's very real. Spirituality it doesn't really affect me. See, I me. find it, there's an irony, isn't it, when the people that attack you on Twitter for challenging them about their religious beliefs, they show the total disrespect to you mm. for what is your belief. Your belief is yeah, well, you're they, an atheist and you just don't happen to believe in a, well, in a deity or a god. I can respect that completely yeah. whilst choosing myself to have a different belief. Of course, of course. And, um, and the, one of the best tweets I've ever had is, everyone is entitled to their opinion, so keep quiet about your atheism. <laughs> the, the beautiful <laughs> irony in that is wonderful. You're,